On this week's episode of You Eat, we'll be making orecchiette with sausage and broccoli rabe. This recipe is so easy, it's like making a bowl of cereal. Well, not quite, but it's easy. Spend some time with your family and watch this recipe, and make sure you watch to the end. Hello everyone, and welcome to episode 40 of You Eat. As usual, I am really excited to have you here, and I really appreciate all of your support. Today, we're going to be making a really light and delicious Simple pasta dish. We're going to be making broccoli rabe and sausage with orecchiette pasta. So I'm ready to make this wonderful, simple, and delicious dish. Are you ready to make some broccoli rabe with sausage and orecchiette pasta? Here we go. Print all our recipes on your eat.tv. So to get started, we're going to put on some hot water with salt, and we're going to blanch the broccoli rabe. Let's get started with the broccoli rabe by cutting off the tips and discarding them. Now we're going to cut the broccoli into more manageable sized pieces and let's cut them down to about 2 inches in length. Let's add the broccoli rabe to a colander and we're going to wash it. So let's get started on the garlic. I used about 3 to 4 nice sized cloves of garlic and all I did was I peeled them and then I pan fried them in the extra virgin olive oil. Let's coat the pan with the extra virgin olive oil, and we're going to add the garlic, and then we're going to toast them nicely. As the garlic is roasting, I'm going to slice the sausage vertically to prepare it, because we are going to remove it from the casing. I find it best by submerging the garlic in the oil. You can accomplish this by just tilting your pan on an angle for about 60 seconds. Let's turn off the heat and remove the garlic temporarily. Check it out. Doesn't that look awesome? Let's place the broccoli rob into the boiling water. Let's push this hot oil to the back. We don't want any splatter. Now we're only going to blanch this, so it's still going to be very firm and very green when we're done. I featured my mom in a lot of episodes, and she's a great cook, but growing up, this was not one of her best recipes. She would serve this, she would just cook it in the water with some salt, add some olive oil, and serve it with pasta. The reasoning behind the blanching of the broccoli rabe is to remove some of the bitterness. After draining the broccoli rabe, we're going to shock it with some cold water, and then we're going to put some hot water back on the stove for our pasta. See how bright the broccoli rabe looks? That's cooked about 50%. Okay, we're going to remove the sausage from the casing, and then we're going to add that to the pan after we clean up. If you're enjoying this video on Facebook, hit that thumbs up button and give us a like. And while you're at it, click on that follow button too. Let's put the heat back on and we're going to start to cook our sausage. We're just going to break it down into like little pieces. And then we'll break it down more as it's in the pan, but not too much. We want some big chunks. Have you subscribed to our YouTube channel yet? What are you waiting for? Make sure you hit that bell. So let's give the sausage a good stir. We don't want it to stick to the pan and we can break it down a little bit more at this point. We're going to cook the sausage for about five minutes in total. We're going to brown it nicely. We're going to take our roasted garlic and we're going to slice it and we're going to add it back to the pan. If your garlic is really big, you can cut it in half vertically and then slice it. Let's keep a close eye on our sausage and give it a stir every once in a while. We don't want it to stick to the pan. Now is a good time as any to season with some salt and pepper. The sausage is starting to get to a nice color. We don't want to cook it too much because we don't want to dry it out. Let's add the garlic back to the pan and incorporate that with the sausage. Now we're ready to add the broccoli rabe back to the pan. Don't forget that the broccoli rabe is cooked 50% and we still want it a little firm when done. We don't want it mushy. So you're going to cook it about 85 to 90% in total. 
I added enough chicken stock to submerge the broccoli rabe in the sausage. It was around three cups of chicken stock. Let's get the chicken stock to a simmer. We're going to cook all these ingredients for a few minutes together. And we will add more chicken stock if needed. We want to cook till the broccoli rabe is about 95% done and still firm. Our water is boiling and our pasta is ready to go. So we'll add the orecchiette to the hot water and we're going to cook that al dente. Our broccoli rabe and sausage is now done. Let's shut off the heat. We just have one more step. And let's add a half a cup of Pecorino Romano cheese. And we'll incorporate that while the heat is off. Let's test out our orecchiette. And doesn't that look delicious? Let's remove the pasta and drain. We're going to add some of the orecchiette to a bowl. And we're going to add some of the broccoli rabe and sausage and sauce to the bowl and give it a good toss. The only thing that's left is to put this on the plate. We're going to make it look nice. Put some nice broccoli rabe on top with some sausage. And we will finish off with some shaved Pecorino Romano cheese and extra virgin olive oil. And we are done. I told you it was easy. Order Chiette with sausage and broccoli rabe. You eat? You want to eat? Make this recipe. It's delicious. That wraps up today's broccoli robin sausage with orecchiette pasta recipe. You can, I use sweet sausage, but you can use hot and sweet. You can mix them both together. You can use, I use pork. You can use your favorite. If you want to use chicken sausage, you can use that as well. And we'll give it a quick taste test. Very delicious, plenty of flavor. We will be back next week with a new recipe. Stay tuned for a quick short, and we'll see you next week. Have a great week. Italian-Americans are great people. We laid the bricks that built the city. We have the artists. We have Miucci, who invented the telephone. We have Don Amici, who played the guy who invented the telephone, huh? <laughs> so listen, come on, buy yourself a nice raffle ticket. Maybe you win yourself a Cadillac. The Saldich is wonderful. Zaza. Here's an offer you shouldn't refuse. Subscribe to this channel.